our best communities around the world. So wherever you like to travel and wherever your favorite place is, those places were created by everyday people. They weren't these master builders or master developers. Sometimes they were, but usually the best communities in towns were a couple of guys and girls who got together, built one building, maybe built two, and then they had their family business on the ground floor or you know they, they had a community that they built around. And so everyday people are the most important thing uh, in probably honestly more important than architecture developers who have decades of experience to say, no, this is the way it works. Um, no, communities are only made and shaped by the people who live in them. You know, it's not a real community if it's kind of put on you by others. Um, and so what people can do, I think is to start to talk amongst each other, um, if they're not builders or architects and say, yeah, you, you know, that, that new gas station that went up for sale on the corner, I, I heard that there's, um, there's going to be a meeting at the city council um, about what to do with it. I'm going to go there and say, well, why can't we build a new beautiful building? Here's some buildings I really like. I found them on Pinterest or I found them on Instagram or wherever it might be. Or I was just in Italy. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could have a building like that here? And I think that's where it starts. I love that because I never even thought that was possible. Like, let me show you my mood board for my ideal building. <laughs> Honestly, and I'm, I'm not kidding. Mood boards could change America. Oh my God. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm so good at Pinteresting. <laughs> I mean, that that's really where it starts. If we don't uh -huh. have a vision for what world we want to live in looks like, yeah. who's going to go out and build it? <laughs>